Science is advancing faster and faster every day. What scientists understand today may be dwarfed by what they learn tomorrow. They are faced with paradoxes that continue to baffle them. Simply put, a paradox is a statement that is seemingly contradictory or opposed to common sense, but perhaps true. For example, if I was to say, Nobody actually knows anything, but I actually know this thing, so I know something. That would be a paradox. If I know nothing, how could I state that to be true? In this video, we're going to talk about seven popular paradoxes that continue to keep scientists awake at night. The Fermi Paradox or Silent Universe You may have heard the question, where are all the aliens? This is a common question asked by scientists, researchers, and skeptics. If the universe is too large to fully comprehend and humans exist, it should only make sense that there is other intelligent life in the universe. So, why haven't we seen it? Why have we had no contact with it? The lack of evidence of intelligent life is the opposite of what we should expect. Named after Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi, this is known as the Fermi Paradox. The Milky Way galaxy is one of billions of galaxies in the universe. It has hundreds of billions of stars, and each star has at least one planet orbiting it. So, it's very likely that some of these stars have planets that are similar to Earth. We can also assume that Earth isn't special if we look at the big picture and consider that our point of view is the only reference we have. So, where are all the aliens? The most common answer is that there are none. Earth is unique and we are alone in the universe. If there was intelligent life, it died off or moved. But what if we simply don't know what to look for? It has been suggested that some surface oceans may contain extraterrestrial life that has no idea anything else exists. That would explain why we've had no contact. Maybe Fermi's colleague and fellow physicist Edward Teller was right when he said, As far as our galaxy is concerned, we are living somewhere in the sticks, far removed from the metropolitan area of the galactic center. The debate will continue until we find evidence of intelligent life in the universe. What if we've already witnessed it? Is it possible we wouldn't recognize it if we saw it? There have been more and more documented sightings of unexplained craft than ever before. As technology advances, the question of whether or not we are alone in the universe may be answered. Hopefully, we will be open-minded enough to accept that there are things we don't know or understand. Bootstrap Paradox Imagine I travel back to 1925 and give Aldous Huxley a copy of the book Brave New World. Seven years later, he published the book as his own. Many years later, I see a copy of the book, travel back in time and show it to Huxley. He can't argue he penned the book as I gave it to him. I can't say it originated with me as I bought it from a local bookstore. This is known as the bootstrap paradox or predestination paradox. It challenges the idea that there is a beginning and an end and reinforces the idea that everything is connected in a predetermined, closed loop of events with no origin. Adding to the mystery, let's consider the grandfather paradox. Grandfather paradox. Pretend for a moment that your grandfather was a bad man and you needed to erase his existence. So you travel back in time, prevent him from being born and travel back to the present. But how? If your father was never born, you couldn't exist and wouldn't have been able to prevent the birth of your grandfather. This is a consistency paradox known as the grandfather paradox. While the bootstrap paradox isn't inherently inconsistent, the grandfather paradox creates an inconsistency in a timeline's history. The only way you could exist is if your actions created an alternate timeline. One that may be much better had you not prevented the birth of your grandfather. A similar problem arises with the idea of going back in time to kill Hitler and prevent World War II. The Hitler Paradox If you were looking to do something good for mankind, you might decide to stop Hitler from starting World War II. You travel back in time and stop him before any atrocities can be carried out. 
but you would have no knowledge of the Second World War in the future since you prevented it, and therefore no reason to travel back in the first place. Next, let's discuss the world of quantum physics. The Observer's Paradox Albert Einstein said, I don't believe in quantum physics because I believe the moon is there even when I'm not looking at it. It's a profound statement and one that has opened the eyes and minds of scientists regarding quantum theories. The idea behind the observer's effect is that instruments used to add light to microscopic particles in order for them to be seen change where it is and how it's moving. Macroscopic objects like baseballs are largely unaffected when we look at them. For example, when you throw a baseball at a wall, you can predict where it will be during its flight, where it will hit the wall, how it will bounce, and what it will do afterward. When dealing with microscopic particles, none of these things can be predicted, making the results of quantum experiments random. This has been discovered by performing the double slit experiment. Double slit experiment. In 1801, Thomas Young performed an experiment to measure the wave behavior of visible light. This is known as the double slit experiment. At that time, long before the development of quantum mechanics, it was thought that light was made up of either waves or particles. Young believed his experiment proved that light was, in fact, made of waves, based on the brightness of the light being affected by the addition and subtraction of interference to the front of the wave. The double slit experiment is performed by shining light through two narrow slits and observing it on a screen. You won't see two bands of light on the screen as you might expect. What you'll see on the screen are gaps in between several bands of light. This suggests that there is an interference pattern causing the light to behave differently. But why? It was first thought that the electrons were bouncing off one another, and that was creating the interference pattern. So, single electrons were sent through the slits onto the screen. After an hour of performing this test, the same interference pattern emerged. This led physicists to believe that the electron existed as a particle, became a wave and interfered with itself before hitting the screen like a particle. It didn't make much sense. From a mathematical standpoint, it made even less sense. It could be concluded that it went through both slits and neither, and that it went through just one slit or just the other. Having to know the answers, physicists observed the electrons on their way to the screen. What they saw baffled them even further. The particles created two bands on the screen as you would expect. There was no interference pattern. It was as if simply viewing the light particles changed their behavior, leading to the idea of the observer's effect and taking physicists down the rabbit hole of quantum events. What is matter? particles or waves, and what role does an observer actually play in the observation of quantum particles? The debate has been going on for over 100 years. The Black Hole Information Paradox Another complex puzzle that physicists were attempting to solve is the Black Hole Information Paradox. The laws of physics are rooted in the idea that anything which is done can be undone if all parts of a system are sent into reverse. It seemed that black holes were the exception. It was believed that information swallowed by a black hole was lost forever, and any radiation, called Hawking radiation, that was produced didn't carry any information regarding the initial state of the black hole. That belief violated a core rule of classical and quantum physics that states, the state of a system at one point in time should determine its value at any other time. Research over the last 50 years has finally shed some light on this issue and has led physicists to believe this paradox may be no more. They say there's a chance that the inside of a black hole is connected to the inside of another black hole through a wormhole, and that deep within black holes there's a special region called an island. The region is both inside the black hole and also outside the black hole at the same time. The information that's within the island is also outside it and can escape the black hole's destruction. So the information is never truly destroyed, even if the black hole evaporates away completely and disappears, solving the paradox. The Twin Paradox 
The twin paradox is the most famous of all the seeming inconsistencies of special relativity. Special relativity states that a clock attached to a moving object will tick at a slower rate than one that isn't moving. This means that a person who is moving will age slower than a person who is stationary. This creates a paradox, since person A can claim that person B is the one who is moving and they are not. Person B can make the same claim about person A, yet one of them is objectively older. This can be solved by understanding time dilation and isn't really a paradox at all. Time dilation can be defined as the slowing down of a clock as determined by an observer who is in relative motion with respect to that clock. Simply put, if person A stays on Earth and person B flies in a rocket ship to the moon and back, person B will have aged less during that time than person A. Let us know in the comment section below what paradox you find most interesting. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.